Good morning, Philippines. Good morning, Manila. Broadcasting live from ABC Newsroom, the Gig City. This is Lori Brenuevo. And this is Patrick Yarena, serving you the hottest and the most leading news of the hour. Your news, our affair. This is the News Trail. As the Halalan 2022 continues, Comelec says that they will be making sure that the canvassing of boats will be safe and secure. H continues to warn the public for a possible spike in COVID-19 cases if they continue to disregard the health protocol. And what a season for the UP Fighting Maroons as they move one step closer to the men's basketball crown after winning Game 1 against the Ateneo Blue Eagles. But before we get to this report, let us have a good cup of words for this wonderful morning. You're right, Lordy. I've heard that we have an eye-opening book to find her for today. And I can't wait anymore. Exposing all sorts of expressive writings from novels to fantasies, this is Between the Covers. Way back in 2001, a certain book titled Journey to the River Sea was published and had been supported worldwide. It is a fictional children's adventure novel written by Eva Ibotson and has been given multiple literary awards for the success of the book. And oh well, even though it's been a year since it was released, a lot of book lovers are still grabbing their copies of the novel. Let's find out how the book was written and the reasons why it should be included in our must-read. We have Earl Bassa for the report. The best-selling novel, Journey to the River Sea, has been circulating against worldwide. Currently, they are organizing an event for the commemoration of the British novelist Eva Ibotson and the success of her novel, calling it Eva Ibotson Journey, How Mayu's Adventure Was Treated. To share with us the important scrub for the book, we have here supporters from the event, Ms. Marielle and Ms. Aldea. Good morning. Good morning. So first, I just want to ask how are you feeling now that the event was made to memorialize the triumph of Eva Ibotson in writing her novel Journey to the River Sea? We are just so glad to be a part of this event because it is important for us to express our gratitude to Mrs. Eva Ibotson for living an inspiring and classic novel to read. For you to be so grateful for this novel, what is the thing that you like the most about the story? Well, I really admire the way that it was written from a third-person point of view. It gave multiple viewpoints in the story. That's why we were able to understand the emotions and motivations of the different characters as it wasn't only limited to one perspective. Talking about the theme of the book, what is it all about? Are there social issues involved in the story? The Journey to the River Sea is a story depicting family relationships that do not always end out as expected. It also shows the reality of having different social classes as well as creating your own destiny through your actions and decisions. Generally, it shows the ups and downs in the life of the characters and how they eventually overcame the hardships through perseverance. Speaking of characters in the story, can you give us a little background about the roles and the conflicts present in the novel? So, the protagonist of this story is an orphan named Magia Fielding, who was raised by her guardian, Mr. Murray. She has been transferred from England to begin a new life in Monus with the Carters, her distant relatives. They are the story's antagonists since they are only interested in Maya's inheritance. While seeing a play, she met Clovis King, a child performer and an orphan like her. They became friends and he joined Maya on her journey down the Amazon River. Later on, they met Finn Taverner, the lad who had given her a ride to Clovis's performance. 
The three of them each have their own troubles, yet they opted to support each other for their own advantage. Most of the conflicts in the story are between the characters. Maya, Clovis, and Finn were orphans, which is already a struggle. Sadly, our main character, Maya, has to face the conflict of not being treated fairly by the family she expects to have. They want to take advantage of her money, which is the only reason why they accepted her. Her twin cousins were especially mean, which leaves her desperately wanting to escape from her trapped situation. There also comes an issue when Finn is currently on the run from two men, Mr. Trapwood and Mr. Lowe, who are searching for the heir to the Westwood, the wealthy Tavener estate in England. They end up conceiving a plan that Clovis will pretend to be the Tavener heir and accompany the crows to the Westwood, while Finn will remain as Clovis and be free to look for his mother's clan. Clovis departs for England after the plan goes off without a hitch. Oh, it already sounds so interesting to read. Ultimately, why would you recommend this book to all the readers around the world? This book is a must-read book because of the life lessons it teaches. It tells us that making our own decisions and working hard to get what we want will impact our future and that we will eventually reach our goals as we are tenacious and persevere. You will also realize that your family or other relatives are not always on your side. That is why you should avoid investing your trust in someone you haven't known in a long time, but rather focus on taking hold of your own life and living it as hard as you can. Also, the story can make you think about yourself in a wider context because of the poignant themes such as friendship, family, dreams, and bravery. Based on what you stated, it's evident that Eva Ibotson's novel, Journey to the River Sea, is well worth our time and effort. Thank you very much to each of you. This concludes the report about the best-selling novel Journey to the River Sea by Eva Ibotson exposing all sorts of expressive writings from novels to fantasies. This is Urbasa of Between the Covers. Oh wow, even though I haven't read the book, I can say that it is indeed an interesting and engaging story. And I couldn't agree more. If only I have the time, I will grab a coffee of the Nobel and read it now. Speaking of time, we don't have much left. Thank you so much Earl Basso for the report. This ends the long broadcast of today's heated headlines. Again, this is Lori Branuevo. And this is Patrick Yarena, serving you the hottest and the most leading news of the hour. Your, Your news, our affair. affair. This, this is, is the, the News Trail. Trail.